Oh, yeah. It's time for some pork belly burnouts, but not just any old pork belly burnouts. Today, we're going to rub these down with some awesome maple rub from Butcher Barbecue. And then when they're all rubbed down, we're going to throw them out onto this beast. That's right. We're smoking up these beautiful pork belly burnouts on a beautiful Hunsaker drum smoker. Folks, stick around. You're not going to want to miss this one. Okay, so once you cube up those pork belly burn ends, they should be pretty good size as you see here. You're gonna wanna rub them down. Like I said, I'm using some maple rub from Butcher Barbecue today. Really great stuff. Perfect for pork belly burn ends. And you wanna really coat them down good, right? You wanna get all sides evenly coated with a healthy dose of this incredible rub or whatever rub you use. So that it looks something like this. And you can start to see these things sweat down a little bit. And once they get to this state, it's time to hit the pit. So the next step in this pork belly burn end process is to get these pork belly burn ends into an aluminum pan. Add some butter, some brown sugar, and some honey, and then wrap it tightly in some foil. Get it back out on that smoker. Let it render down even further. This is a very, very crucial step. And about after that hour, hour and a half, they should be about done. They look something like this once you pull them out of the juice and you kind of toss them in some high quality barbecue sauce or something else that you might like. I happen to use, again, Butcher Barbecue product. It was very good. It was an apple orchard um, barbecue sauce. It had this very, very nice syrupy, sugary sheen to it. And it really added something delightful to these incredible pork belly burn ends. So you got to try this recipe. Trust me, um, one of the best things that you can do on your smoker. And hey, if you liked what you saw today, Give us a like, a subscribe, a share, a comment, and don't forget to follow us at Far Beyond Barbecue on Instagram.